Welcome back everyone. For the second time in a row, the Lakers have beaten the New Orleans Pelicans on their own home court, and this time it officially put them in the NBA playoffs, where they will be matching up with a very familiar opponent, with that being the Denver Nuggets. And while it might not have been a blowout victory for them this time, the Lakers were able to find a way to win, even with both LeBron and Anthony Davis being held under 40% from the field, and I'm not sure I've ever seen them win a game like that. I'm really not joking about that either. They were both held under 40% from the field in a game they actually won, with Anthony Davis shooting only 37.5% from the field, and then LeBron shooting only 30%, along with only 20% from three. A true rarity for them. However, they were able to make up for it with their relentless attacking on the rim. And with the Pelicans flying heavily on their small ball lineup again, they were often forced to foul them, putting LeBron and Anthony Davis at the free throw line five times each, along with the Lakers shooting 29 total free throws, where they were able to knock down about 90% of them. And if they had even missed one more free throw, this game could have become a lot more hectic. But fortunately for them, their entire team was locked in from the free throw line tonight. Now, you already know the casual fans will be complaining about them taking that many free throws, but I would argue they could have and probably should have gotten more. Regardless though, that was how they gained the edge in this game, particularly on offense. Though, like I talked about during my pregame video, it was pretty much a guarantee that New Orleans would be finding different ways to incorporate Zion Williamson. And well, I think it's safe to say that turned out to be true, with him dropping 40 points alone in this one. And yes, they did in fact do more switch hunting with him too, allowing him to attack a different matchup than LeBron or Rui Hachimura throughout the game, even at times trying to switch him on to Anthony Davis. Which might sound a bit weird, but it gave him a better runway to attack him and thus put his body on him too and that took away AD's ability to contest him. And not only that, but he was significantly more effective playing off the ball as well, another thing that I talked about with him during my pregame video. He played out of the dunker spot a lot more, and even made more cuts along the baseline, where he often caught LeBron ball watching, and was then able to get behind him for a dunk. Unfortunately for Zion Williamson though, he suffered some kind of injury during the late fourth quarter, and I really hate to see that no matter who we're talking about. Between him and Jose Alvarado, they got the Pelicans back in this game. And who knows, they may have even come all the way back if not for him getting hurt. But at the end of the day here, the Lakers were able to come out on top. And they definitely played well enough to win this game too. Despite LeBron and Anthony Davis being contained offensively, they got great production from their role players, and then all around had a very solid game on defense too. Between D'Lo and Reeves offensively, they had 37 total points on 7 made 3 point shots. And then, while Rui Hachimura only attempted 6 field goal attempts, he only missed one of them. And then for their team's defense, they did a great job defending the Pelicans backcourt. We've often talked about the problem that CJ McCollum had been entering this matchup, but the Lakers were able to primarily contain him, even with a quote unquote, horrible defensive backcourt. And yet, D'Lo and Reeves played really good defense, and then not to mention Gabe Vincent coming off the bench to help out too. And even without Jared Vanderbilt, the Lakers have been playing borderline elite defense again, which is without a doubt a great sign for them, especially heading into a matchup with the Denver Nuggets. But with all of that being said, I'll let you hear from the team about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. Like, you know, it's, it's not too often you're going to go 6 for 20, but he pointed out three steals, a couple blocks, a couple charges drawn, just kind of trying to find a way. Yeah. Uh, is that Was that kind of the, what you guys have been doing for the last couple of weeks to, to get up from the 10 to the 7? Uh, yeah, we've just been playing good ball, and everybody's been contributing. Um, you know, it um, hasn't been many games where me and AD shot the ball. I think we were 12 for 36 in the field, but the rest of the guys picked us up. So myself and AD was just trying to do everything else that we could. AD getting offensive rebounds, making free throws down the stretch. Um, you know, I continue to find my guys. Um, obviously, a big time shot um, by D'Lo right there in that, um, in, that, in that strong corner by the bench. So it's a good all, all around team win. What's the importance level now? You, you have a couple days, get your bodies right, think about Denver, get, you know, do all that. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to Denver, but, uh, you know, this was the. It was a long ass road trip, you know. You almost forget that we was in Memphis before these two games. Um, you know, tonight was definitely a playoff game. Um, so getting your mind right, getting your body right, you know, trying to get as much recovery we can before we have to uh, go out there on Saturday. I'm not go. I mean, on the floor on Saturday versus Denver. Um, so um, that's the main thing. At times, this team hasn't played the best defense. Finished in the middle of the pack in the league in defensive rating, but tonight there was like a, a level that rarely been seen out of this group. How equipped are you guys to keep that level um, throughout the postseason? Well, I mean, obviously that's what wins, you know, that's what win ball games in the postseason. That's defending, obviously. 
Um, you know, you got to score the ball. You got to be efficient. You got to not turn the ball over, but defensive stops. And, you know, that, that's, that's keys to runs. You're able to get a few stops in a row. You're able to get some scores. You're able to get to, uh, you know, some, some, some good runs where you can go on a 9-2 run or a 10-2 run or whatever the case may be. Force the team to call a timeout and gain some momentum. So, you know, we worked up our defense tonight. For you personally, how do you pace yourself to be able to get more on that end at this time of year? No, I ain't no more pace. Pace yourself for what? Well, it's, I mean, it's not I, a sprint. This is sprint now. We already went through the marathon. So my point being, now you have a different level you can reach on that end, and you'll, you'll tap in. Yeah, I do whatever it takes. I mean, uh, you know, all the percent is out the window. That's, the season's over with, so it's about just winning. You took win again. You took a couple of Zion charges in December. Yeah. Was this one worse? Yeah, this was a, this was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, you guys uh, entered the postseason last year. Dennis hits a huge shot in the play Austin has a big game one and, and it kind of sets the stage for everybody to contribute um, to what you were talking about tonight with what you got from Gabe in the second quarter, yeah. what you got from d Lee. Uh -huh. What does that say about the health of the team as a whole? Like, I guess more spiritually than anything, no, I mean, that, that it's say everybody's contributing. I mean, it's been my tone all season. You know, it's been, you know, we can get healthy or when we're healthy or how healthy we can get. It's going to determine how well we play. Um, this is about as close as healthy as we've been, and we're still without a big piece in Vando. So, um, but tonight we showcase what we're able to do both offensively and defensively. We've got a good group going right now, good rotation, good plan, and guys are coming in ready to go. Does that give you more confidence in these guys, or are you already at this point where you trust no, these guys in big games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't never lose confidence in my teammates ever. What are your uh, preliminary thoughts on the Denver matchup? Um, preliminary thoughts um, as the defending champion. Uh, they know what it takes. They know how to win. They've been um, extremely dominant in their home floor over the last few years. Um, you know, they got an MVP on their team. They got a closer on their team. Um, they got high-level players, high IQ players. They got a hell of a coach. So, uh, you know, we have to play mistake-free basketball and make it tough on them. Um, they're going to try to make it tough on us, obviously. Um, but it's going to, if we can play our, it's, it's as great as game we can play, they're going to play as great as game they play. He's going to come down to one or two possessions, you know, and uh, we see who executes them. Last question. Just a little bit, but New Orleans, you know, defensively, it seemed like they had tilted things a lot to try and take away some of the paint touches and just crowd you and LeBron. Uh, Austin, D'Lo, your Rui, Gabe, various guys stepping up around you, kind of capped by that D'Lo three. What, what did you guys get from your teammates tonight? Yeah, everything. Um, for me and LeBron were 12 for 36 or something like that. And, uh, D'Lo, <coughs> AR, Rui, TP, Gabe, um, Jax, you know, those are the guys that you know, really won the game for us. Uh, you know, me and Braun sprinkled in some makes, you know, every now and then, but the way those guys played, um, you know, kept us in the game, got us the big lead, um, you know, and ultimately, um, you know, won the game for us. So, uh, you know, that's what we're going to need. Um, the team going to try to take me and Braun away. Uh, you know, we need the rest of the guys to, you know, play how they play tonight. How did the backfield from Sunday through today, and then how important is it now to, you know, not have to play again on Friday and get your rest, get your health ahead, ahead of what's going to obviously be a, a, trick, a tough series against Denver? Yeah, I mean, it's good that we won tonight, get a couple of days to get it back right. Um, <coughs> still. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know, did feel it tonight, you know, a lot of the jumping and stuff. You know, I'm not sure anybody had back spasm, but you know it's, it's tough. So um, try to keep it as loose as possible. I mean, it's just the constant, you know, moving and things like that, twisting and turning and stuff like that just kind of limited me a little bit. Um, but, you know, still try to go out there and be effective and, you know, help the team win. But uh, I feel like I'll be 100% uh, as far as the back uh, comes out of it.